Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to Introduction to Construction. I'm going to be teaching this course to you over the next 15 weeks uh, till just before Christmas and as you know uh, we're going to be totally online so this should be a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to this course and I, actually I every year look forward to um, teaching the degree students in the residential construction course and this course. So I get to know you pretty well over the semester. Uh, and being online, I think we can do a lot of things too to get to know each other pretty well too. Um, so it should be a lot of fun and um, we'll just get started a little bit with this introduction. Uh, I think it's important for you to know that every course at George Brown College uh, will have a course outline. So, you know, if you're taking a course, that's really your contract as to how the course is going to be delivered and how we're going to go about teaching it and what kind of outcomes that we're trying to um, get you to. Uh, so this particular course, uh, we have our Introduction to Construction, BLDG 1153. And... Uh, this is the best way to contact me. If you're going to contact me, I would not phone. I'm probably not even gonna be checking my messages very frequently. I'm an email person, so that's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, so you can send, a, send at any time to that email and you know, within a reasonable time, I should be able to uh, get back to you. Uh, so our course description, this course is really about trying to give you a good understanding of the the breadth of the construction industry, the different sectors in the construction industry, uh, how construction management works, uh, some of the evolving trends in the construction industry. It's got a lot of a lot of breadth in it, not a great amount of depth because you're going to be taking over the four years of your studies uh, a lot of in-depth courses. So this is more to give you a good sort of uh, holistic broad view of how the different components fit together and so we'll try to set you up pretty well for, uh, from that perspective and you know what I think it's um, I think it's uh, helpful when you're being taught a course uh, to have a, a good understanding about where the teachers coming from and their perspective so I think when I actually start the lecture I'll start the first lecture um, with a little bit of my background so you get a good uh, perspective of where I'm coming from. I'd also encourage you with each one of your teachers to find out a little bit about them and where they're coming from because that's where you can sort of pick uh, certain expertise uh, and sort of uh, capitalize on picking those brains and trying to find out more about it. Because in your program we have people like construction lawyers, uh, former chief building officials, um, people that run companies, uh, people that have been professors doing research. There's a lot of uh, breadth in the faculty and you really want, you got this great opportunity, you want to be able to um, dive deep and you probably, you know, you probably don't want to ask a person that's a, been chief building official, uh, building inspector if you want, uh, in-depth questions about construction business management. Uh, but you would want to ask them in-depth questions about building code. If you have somebody teaching your course that has a lot of uh, in-depth uh, background on business management, uh, then that would be a good person to ask those types of questions. So that would be like me as, as an example, uh, as you'll see. Um, so as I said, we've got a lot of breadth in this course and these are where you'll see the outcome. So this is what we're trying to achieve so that when you finish the course, you're comfortable in these areas. You know, and so in this particular course, define the construction process and the function of the various stakeholders involved in the construction industry. So who, who are the stakeholders? Who's involved? Uh, what are the different kind of relationships that are built in this? What are the contractual relationships that are being built in this? Explain the impact of the construction industry on the local and national economies. Construction is a huge business, very big and uh, it has a lot of impacts. Uh, in Toronto, we're the economic center of Canada, so there's a lot of uh, construction activity, which is good for you seeking a career. With that said, Canada is a very big country and there's lots of opportunities. I do a lot of consulting and I've traveled the country for companies like um, Ellis Don, Bird Construction, Maple Rinders as an example. And when I've gone into other cities uh, to um, train their project managers and site supers, 
most often, more times than not, somebody in the group is a former student from Toronto. Even if I'm in Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Kelowna, St. John's, Newfoundland, St. John, New Brunswick, um, Halifax, it always happens. So that's the nice thing about careers in this area. You've got a lot of mobility if you choose, if you choose. So we'll be looking at the stakeholders and how it affects the local and national economies, identify construction project procurement practices. That's a, that's a simple way of saying, how do we buy our subcontractors, right? right? Because they're gonna do a certain amount of work for us. They tender prices with us. So procurement is we hire them and they're going to perform that work for us. And we're gonna ensure that that work meets the quality standards and expectations of the specifications and drawings for the course. Describe the application of construction project management processes. So much there, tons, tons. And the good thing about a lot of our courses at George Brown, if you never get into construction, it's gonna give you a lot of things that would be helpful in life. Uh, project management, you can use for everything, trust me. And we'll get into that as we go through the course. It's just gonna come out of me. Uh, I can't help it. Uh, and regulatory compliance requirements, lots there. Uh, so what are the, what are the uh, regulatory authorities with regards to safety, with regards to um, building code, with regards to um, TSSA, uh, basically life safety systems, uh, gas systems, uh, elevating systems. You know, there's a lot of regulatory requirement, environmental regulations. So um, we'll discuss those particular areas as well. And so we're going to be delivering this course. Well, as you can guess, it's going to be both synchronous and asynchronous. And if you're confused about that, I was confused about that up to about five months ago. So I had to look it up. So synchronous means live and asynchronous is this recorded. So we'll be doing both. Uh, I don't want to sort of just do a, a live lecture and just me do all the talking. So I think it's good to do this kind of stuff up front. Uh, I'll do a bit of lecturing in the, in the actual live lectures, but I also want to have discussion questions. Maybe I'll break you up into groups. We'll, we'll jump into different rooms. Maybe I can get to know you a little bit better. Um, so that'll be very helpful for that perspective. In this course, we are going to be using a textbook. Now, this textbook is one that I actually uh, wrote. Let me see. I'll just go grab a copy. So it's this book, Understanding Construction Drawings for Housing and Small Buildings. And so this, uh, cor this course, I, if it was just only this course, I probably wouldn't tell you to get it. Uh, but because we're doing the residential construction course, uh, we're going to use about 80% of the book in the residential construction course and about another 10% of the book, 15% uh, of the book in this course. So there's uh, three chapters that we'll utilize from the book in this course. And then most of the other chapters, except for chapter two and three, we'll utilize in the residential construction course. Uh, so we're going to be looking at uh, the aspects of contracts, um, the industry as a whole, specifications, uh, a bunch of those areas, and I have that in this book, so that's where that can come quite handy for that purpose. Uh, you can get this through the bookstore uh, online, the textbook. You can also um, look at Amazon and other places just to price shop if you want, uh, as an example, but yeah, you're going to need the book particularly for the residential construction course, it will be very, very, very um, helpful for you in that way. So I strong, you know, if I wrote the book, I'm going to use the book. So that's just um, uh, my two cents in there. Uh, so I know some teachers, maybe they make you get a book and then you never use it. But uh, I think you'll find it very helpful that way. Plus, you can always ask me questions uh, in detail about it. And I should be able to answer if I can remember what I wrote. Um, that can be helpful. Okay, and uh, this is standard stuff. So again, you can go online at the George Brown College website. You can find out about policies, guidelines, um, pretty heavy documents, but really that's kind of um, what the faculty follow. And if there's disputes and, and issues, that's what sort of um, gets flushed out. Very important, I would say for each one of your courses, 
look at this area. So probably one of the, the most important areas, this area and going back, you know, well, what books do you need? What stuff? And the course outcomes. These are like the goals. What are we trying to achieve in the, in the course? Uh, so we want to know that and the evaluation system. So this is very helpful for you to understand in particular, um, how will you be evaluated in this course? So, uh, in this particular case, I have uh, quizzes down as um, 30%. And really what that is, I'm going to be every week, or if I don't, I'll be longer in the actual lecture, but every week uh, doing some sort of video uh, and uh, the readings in the text where it's appropriate, where it connects. So I just want to make sure that people are actually following up on that. And usually what I'll do is I will just post a short quiz, it won't be very long, on Blackboard and you just answer the questions, uh, multiple choice. Uh, maybe I'll do some short answer, we'll see how that goes and that will give you the actual 30%. So, so for 10 of the weeks, we'll have a quiz and each one's worth 3%. So in other words, it's worth you doing the readings and watching the videos uh, so that you're good at that because these are pretty easy, I would suggest. Uh, or reasonably easy to um, get close to if you're reviewing the videos and um, the lecture notes and whatever readings that we may have. We'll also have an, a project and um, because of COVID uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna, I'm making sure this is like, you don't have to interact with people. I don't know if there's gonna be a second wave. It's gonna be much more pronounced than it is now, but I wanna make sure everybody is safe. So I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable doing anything. Um, but in this particular case, uh, exterior observation of a ICI. ICI is institutional, commercial, industrial, um, it could be a school under construction. It could be a condominium building under construction. It could be a box store under construction. Uh, it could be a community center under construction, you know, something along those lines. Not, res not low rise residential, because I'm going to have a, a project kind of on that side in the other course, because that's what we're looking at in the other course. This is really the breadth of your program here. So something more um, along those areas. And what I want you to do is to um, photograph its progress. And I'll give you details about this in class, in the live section, sessions, and there'll be an assignment about it. So I don't want to get into too much detail here, but you'll be also working online with group members to, so each person's going to get their own site. And what I would suggest is somewhere that you could walk to from your house. You know, if, there, if you see construction, uh, somewhere that's uh, kind of like uh, you go in the morning walk at uh, 6.30 in the morning, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and take some pictures. And over the, over the weeks of the course or over the weeks of the assignment, and you'll see some progress going on in the project. And then what you're going to do is in groups, you're going to compare and contrast um, the different things that were going to go on on your projects and detail out a bunch of information that I'll request in the assignment. And that gets you working in teams, collaborating, pulling together the materials to make a nice um, presentation of which you'll present in the class. So uh, we're going to be using, I think we're going to be using Zoom most of the semester. I might switch. I might switch to um, Blackboard Collaborate. You probably have Blago uh, pretty soon in the week uh, coming up. Uh, he's going to be your communications teacher. Blago's a fantastic guy and um, he's my source for uh, technology. Uh, but I'm going to start out with Zoom because uh, there's a bunch of things that I'm very comfortable with in Zoom. As I said, I do a lot of consulting work and I've been getting pretty comfortable with that. Uh, but I may end up switching at some point to collaborate. We'll see how that goes, right? And we'll see how you like it as well. Uh, many of you probably know Zoom. You might not know Collaborate yet, but it's kind of... The way I look at this technology, I've been using WebEx, I've been using Zoom, I've been using Microsoft Teams, I've used Collaborate. I haven't used Google uh, Meetings yet. Uh, that's one that I haven't used yet. But I just look at it that this is just another tool to be able to do what we're doing right now or have live meetings in those sessions. I mean, it can be really helpful that way. So don't get caught up in the technology. Just get caught up in um, the content. And that will be um, what's most important. Okay. So 
Uh, we will also, so that'll be worth 20% of your uh, final mark. I think I got to fix this. This says 20% and 10%. So um, I'm going to adjust that to say um, probably, I'll, I'll adjust these percentages. So I'm going to post this online and you'll see whatever I've adjusted here. Um, so, because there will be a group presentation to uh, do as well. Uh, midterm test, 25%, multiple choice, online. Final exam, test, 25%, online. Most of the material in the final will be in the last seven weeks, but I'll still probably use 20, 25% from the first seven weeks of the material, uh, but uh, basically mostly from the last part. And because it's online, it's going to be, you know, open book. So um, you'll have a limited amount of time to do the questions and um, that'll be how we'll process it. So then in this area, this kind of, and I'm going to let you go through this piece by piece on your own. Uh, I'll have this posted in Blackboard under, uh, you know, an um, area that'll probably say lectures or course materials, something like that. And one of the tabs on the left side and uh, you should be looking for this in every course, so you can at least always look at this, understand what you've got to do, what it's worth. It also helps you to prioritize how much effort do I put into something. And so you can follow through this. We'll be starting out with a, a quick overview of the construction industry, um, the aspect of managing construction projects, practices, supply chain practices, construction industry practices, more details material here. So you'll see that I'll get into uh, a lot of areas and details as we um, move along. And I generally enjoy this class because of the breadth, because of the questions. And I'm hoping that you're really going to enjoy uh, this online experience. Uh, the world is uh, changing. You know what this has done? This all this has done is it's moved things about five to 10 years in education. We'll talk about the construction industry. Trust me, the construction industry has been very slow to change, but in the last seven years, it probably changed more than it did in the previous 20 years. And education is even worse with regards to change. And with uh, COVID, it's moved things ahead a good five to 10 years. People are learning to learn online because they need to. Once you finish this program, do not think that you're done. The world changes very, very fast. I'll talk about that in the first lecture and you're gonna to have to try to keep up with it. So it's very important that you learn how to learn and learning online is helping you that way because it's giving you the skills to be able to learn on your own, to be self-motivated to learn on your own. And I think that's a really great tool. So we'll talk about that in the first lecture that I'll post. Um, shortly for you to get a chance to look at before the first class. Okay, so um, as I said, I'm really excited and looking forward to meeting you on, on in person and we'll be meeting on Wednesday. Uh, I will be posting a announcement that should go out to you and it'll also be in the announcement section of Blackboard. So you should get comfortable maneuvering Blackboard. You're going to be here four years. Uh, you don't have to know it as well as the faculty know it, but you should be comfortable maneuvering yourself around and uh, you'll get an announcement and I'll have the uh, meeting links and the time so that basically you just click on that and that should take you uh, to the Zoom meeting room and I'll let you in and then we'll meet then. Okay, so welcome to George Brown College and welcome to your degree in construction management. I'm Tom Stevenson and signing off for now and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.